Well, August is tree check month, and while you are enjoying the outdoors, the DNR is encouraging you to be on the lookout and check for signs of the Asian longhorn beetle. So joining us to tell us more, we have Robert Miller, Invasive Species Prevention and Response Specialist. Thanks so much for joining us this morning. Thanks for having me. Well, let's first talk about tree check month. What exactly are you talking about here? So August is Tree Check Month, and the USDA and its partners are encouraging folks to go outside and check the trees you know, in your backyard, in your neighborhood, for signs of Asian longhorn beetle. So talk a little bit about what people should be looking out for and the Asian longhorn beetle, you know, why that's something that we need to be aware of. Yes. Um, so when you're looking for Asian longhorn beetle, you should look for the signs of Asian longhorn beetle. So that would be an exit hole in your tree, sort of the diameter of a pencil, uh, wood shavings around the base of your tree or in the branches. Um, you're also gonna wanna look for shallow uh, oval or circular scars on the bark or on the branches, and that's where the Asian longhorn beetle lays eggs. Um, and then lastly, you asked why people should be looking. You know, Asian longhorn beetle has um, been pretty rough in certain areas of the country and has led to the loss of I think around 180,000 trees. Uh, specifically hardwoods, and we're looking at um, maple, elm, willow, ash, and poplar are some of the species that are affected. So how bad of a problem do we have here in Michigan? Uh, that's a great question. Right now, we do not have Asian longhorn beetle here in Michigan, but Asian longhorn beetle is in other parts of the country, such as New York, Massachusetts, South Carolina, and as close to Michigan as Ohio. Okay, so if someone though, you know, were happened to come across something like this, you know, what, what should they do? I mean, do you think that it's possible that, that this could end up here? It's always possible. Um, we're encouraging everyone to be on the lookout. Uh, if you do find uh, what you suspect to be Asian longhorn beetle or signs of Asian longhorn beetle, you should note what you find, uh, where you are, uh, take a picture if you can. And if you think you find an Asian longhorn beetle itself, try and collect a sample. Uh, collect that sample, put it in a little plastic bag, put it in your freezer, and that'll help with preservation and identification. And then you can contact Michigan Department of Agriculture. And Robert, real real quick, can you give us again what trees they're typically they uh, I guess they grow they go towards? Sure. So if you're checking for signs of Asian longhorn beetle, you're going to want to look in maple, ash, elm, willow, poplar. All right. Very good. Thank you so much. Okay. Thank you.